Are the images created by generative AI models like Stable Diffusion, DALI 2, and Midjourney recognized by face recognition algorithms? Let's find out the answer to this exciting question. You'd be surprised. A few weeks back, I was playing with this iPhone app called Lensa. In Lensa, you can upload 20 or 30 pictures of yourself and get very creative results like the ones that you're looking here. So these are all pictures of me that Lensa has generated automatically without any intervention. Now you can see that there are various kinds of images. You know, they some of them look like me, some of them don't quite always look like me. For example, this image right here, uh, it's debatable whether it looks like me. But the funny thing is that all these images, all these images were recognized by Google Photos uh, as that of me. So if you look at this uh, browser here, these pictures are basically when I type in Satya Malik on my Google Photos, all these images also show up along with the rest of my personal images, which is quite fascinating. Now, it seems that these generative AI models are doing a very good job of preserving certain attributes of a human face, which are good for recognizing them as the person. So even though, you know, in some of these photos, uh, you can see that, you know, I, I look thin, <laughs> I look different, um, but all of these photos are recognized as Satya Malik. Now, what I don't understand is some of these photos are extremely uh, different and there is no way they should have been recognized as Satya Malik. For example, this photo doesn't even have the face. I don't know what Google is doing in this case because I checked the metadata Lensa doesn't insert any metadata that says that this is Satya Malik. And, you know, uh, even if you look at the body type, these pictures do not look like me, but they were generated by Lensa as me. They apparently look like me, but they don't. The funny thing is that Google does recognize these images as Satya Malik, which is very, very funny. Anyways, so this picture also doesn't look like me, but Google recognizes this as me. Anyways, so, I decided to take this a step further. Do these images also get recognized by a state-of-the-art face recognition algorithm like OpenCV face recognition? Now, OpenCV has worked with a company called 7Sense to bring you state-of-the-art face recognition. We are in the top 10 in the NIST competition and this is a really good uh, face recognition algorithm. We have this demo, uh, which anybody can go and try. You can go to opencv.org slash opencv face recognition, and you will come to this page. You click on this button called try demo, and it will take you to the demo page. On the demo page, we have this tab called face comparison, and you can easily compare two pictures. Before we analyze how good OpenCV face recognition does on generative AI model images, let's look at how good OpenCV face recognition actually is. So we are going to upload some pictures of doppelgangers. So these are pictures that I downloaded from the internet uh, articles about doppelgangers. So you can see that these two people are doppelgangers. They look very similar to each other. Now, can OpenCV face recognition tell them apart? Let's try it. So we are going to upload this picture and then compare it to another picture right here of the doppelganger. And let's wait. If the score is above 66, it will say it is matched. Otherwise, it will say it has not matched. And as you can see here, these two pictures have not matched, which means that OpenCV face recognition thinks that these people are different, which is indeed the case. Let's try one more doppelganger. So this person, as you can see, is very close in appearance to this person. Um, just to give you an idea how close they are. I would definitely make a mistake if I were to meet these two people. So let's upload these two people and it is not matched. So OpenCV thinks that these two people are different people. All right, so far so good. Let me give one more try, one more doppelganger. So this was published in New York Times and we are taking these two pictures. They look very similar. They are two different people. And you can see 
that they are not matched. Fascinating, right? So OpenCV face recognition is doing an exceptional job of telling people apart when they are not the same people. Now let's see how it does when we upload one real picture of me and one produced by a generative model. So here I have downloaded many of the pictures that you saw on Lensa and I have also a real image of myself. So I'll upload the real image first and second, I'm going to upload one of these pictures. So this picture does look like me, I mean, in an astronaut uniform. So uh, it says that it has matched and the match is about 78%. Anything about 66% is considered a match. So this is great. So Lensa did produce an image that looks like me because face recognition algorithm, some of the top notch face recognition algorithms like OpenCV face recognition is recognizing it as the same person. Now let's start over again and try a different image. Let's give it a harder image. We'll start with this same image first. And then we will go to uh, slightly harder like this. I don't think it looks a lot like me, but let's see what the answer is. So the answer is 74%, which is above 66%. It is a match, perfect. So you can see that Lensa has done a very good job of generating these images. In fact, we have generated stable diffusion images ourselves and we have also found the same answer. But let's look at something more challenging. So if I take this image and go, look, nice hairstyle. <laughs> uh, go this one. This image is, I think it's, it has started looking not like me anymore. So you can say that, let's, let's try this image. And wow, it still just passes the threshold of 66 and it is a match. As you can see that, you know, as the face is getting away from my face, the score is less and less. But still, it is matching, and which is, which is fascinating. Let's keep go doing this. Now look at this one. This person doesn't look like me. Let me blow it up. I mean, yeah, if I was more handsome, maybe I would look like this, but currently, I don't think I look like this. Uh, you may have a different opinion, definitely, generative models have this opinion that I could look like this under certain circumstances. But whatever, maybe if I lost some weight, uh, then I would be looking like this person. But let's look at the score. Again, it is just above the threshold, which is fascinating for me. Fascinating. I could look like that person. Now let's look at one more example. Now, one thing great about this is that let's say I did some crime and I was trying to escape uh, like this person right here in that robe. The thing is that OpenCV face recognition will catch me. So I should not even try. Okay, now let's try to see the crazy images that Google was saying are me, whether they actually are me according to OpenCV face recognition. So we'll upload my original picture and then we'll find those crazy pictures. One of them is here. No, not this one. Look at this. How can that picture be me under any circumstances? I hope OpenCV face recognition doesn't say that this picture is me. Waiting. All right. Finally, we have something that doesn't look like me in my opinion and OpenCV face recognition also says that it doesn't look like me. Great. Now, there is one other thing that I want to try and that would be the last one. So let's try this image and something which was on the boundary in my opinion. So this one, this one was close enough. This was 66%. Let's try this image. Again, I don't think I look like this at all. Uh, so let's see. I hope there is not a match. All right, it's not a match. So you can see that OpenCV face recognition also recognizes most of the stable diffusion models or the generative AI models as me. There are some which are very far away, but still I'm fascinated. A vast majority of these images that are generated by these models, it is recognizing as me. Fascinating stuff. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon for notifications. 
If you are interested in mastering AI art generation, please head on to opencv.org slash Kickstarter to support our courses. We have a series of two courses. The first course is called AI art generation for everyone. And it requires no background in AI or programming. And you can back it for just $29. The second course is advanced AI art generation. It is for people who have basic programming experience. You can back it for just $59. The best deal is to buy the bundle containing both courses for just $69. Finally, if you have never tried OpenCV face recognition, it is one of the best face recognition APIs in the market. Give it a try for free. This is Satya Malik signing off, your guide to the fascinating world of computer vision and AI. Thank you.